welcome back to my channel in today's video I wanted to share 10 different things you can do on the Gold Coast with a toddler if you are new here welcome my name is Tiana and I've been living on the Gold Coast for seven or eight months now and I love it it's a very touristy place so if you do ever find yourself traveling here and you have young children then hopefully you can find this video useful and with all that said let's get into it so the first one is Broadwater Parklands this is in South Port, which is on the north side of the Gold Coast. It's an amazing little family area. It has a big, like, huge field. Um, it's got cafes and kiosks. It's got like three different playgrounds there. Um, it has a giant jumping pillow for the little kitties and a safe kid beach, which has like a park on it as well. And to top it off, it also has a children's like water park that is free. The only thing you have to pay for is parking and if you want to like purchase food or drinks. But um, it's a great area for families with young children. The second area to take your young children is the Corumban Valley rock pools this is a hidden gem and this place is so beautiful it has like it's like a creek with these rocks it's just really cool and it's um kind of out of the heat of the coastal like sun so it's good for those really stinking hot summer days because it's like in the forest it's quite shaded number three is also water related and that is tally budgera creek beach this is my favorite favorite little location for um taking young children it's like a channel of the ocean and um the waves are really gentle it's quite shallow um, it's a really popular area for young children because it's quite safe. They're not going to get knocked over by huge waves. And it's so beautiful. Um, you overlook the Burley Headland and you can even take walks up there. So I definitely recommend that, that spot. It's it's definitely my favorite. Number four is Kumbaba Wetlands. Uh, this is a really cool place that I go to quite often with Luca and Theodore. Um, we go on like bush walks and there's just beautiful wildflower fields. There are like, kangaroos, koalas, lots of wildlife, lots of lizards. If you're into like reptiles, there's frogs, um, the occasional snake, but you just have to be wary. Um, it's just a really great area if you have children who are loving adventure and loving to be like outdoors because they can run and it's a pretty safe space. You can take your picnic rug there and have lunch. Um, it's a really, really nice area to go to. And to top it off, it's a really beautiful photo location if you want to get a sneaky family photo. Another favorite of mine is Springbrook Mountain. It is... Oh, we legit go there like three times a week, guys. Like, it's one of my favorite spots. You have to drive up the mountain and um, there's just so many different areas. You can take your children, um, you can take them on bush walks, there's lots of picnic areas, um, there's waterfalls. It's just really, really beautiful and pretty much suits everybody's needs. Um, there's lots of lookouts and cafes up there. It's a great family adventure if you like hiking um, and uh, there's just lots of cool animals and a real outdoorsy thing to do. We we even like just go up there when it's raining and take a mountain drive. That's also a really cool thing and play some music, but it's also really cool to get out and walk as well. And number one is Burley Headland. Um, there's lots of markets, there is playgrounds, there's the esplanade, there's lots of like little free things you can do around there. Um, they have like more like reserve walks and like there's the beach. Um, it's just a really cool spot that honestly is like my favorite spot on the Gold Coast. Like Burley Heads is, I'm, I'm going to be biased here. It's the best area. Um, there's just so much to do and so much for like everyone's needs and so much little boutiques and eateries and lots of like children activities and there's always like something going on. Um, another one of my favorites is Miami Marquetta. This is a cool like dome type like big 
shed building that has like fairy lights and markety type um, street vibe food stores. They also have a stage that does live music on the weekends and you just go for food and drinks and it's really family orientated. It's like a really amazing energy. There's lots of like young children there. Um, it's just really fun to do on the weekends if you have a young family. It's pram friendly. Um, there's like something that can accommodate for all your dietary needs. There's just like everything. It's a really fun place to go if you're ever down south. Another one of my favorites is the Botanical Gardens in Ashmore or it might be Labrador, one of those like mid um, coastal inland areas. Um, but it's the Botanical Gardens and they have like all these beautiful walking trails. You can push the pram so it's pram friendly. They have a playground there. They've got picnic um, tables and barbecues and it's just a really great area if you want to be outdoors and be in like the beautiful nature and gardens. It's, it's really amazing. Another one of my favorites is the Gold Coast Esplanade. This is like a 35 kilometer walk. It's from Main Beach, I think it is, all the way to Coolangatta, um, or it might even be past Main Beach, but <laughs> it's like basically the whole Gold Coast Highway for walking, and there are some areas that like break it up, but a really, really good walk. It's a huge footpath, and it overlooks the water. You're on like the city. You can take. Um, your bikes, your scooters, rollerblades, you can walk it, you can take your prams. Um, it's just like lots of people getting out, getting active. There's so many parks on like the ways. It's really, really cool. Um, and there's also outdoor exercise areas if you are into that. But we're talking about children activities here. So lots of parks, lots of like little beaches to like go paddling and um, yeah, it's a really, really cool walk to do. Um, I, I wouldn't do the 30 kilometers in one go, but you can do like sections at a time and yeah, you can find your favorite section. I love a lot of the areas down south, but that's just my personal preference. Um, but it's really, really cool. Um, I also really like Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. You can feed the lorikeets there and there's just like lots of wildlife. That's also not too expensive. I think it's like $59 a year. And um, yeah, it's really cool if you're into like animals and um, it's just fun for like the little children. And I also wanted to add in as well, um, which is like an obvious one, but if you do like come here regularly or you um i don't know live in queensland and just find it worth it we have a theme park pass and um they're quite expensive up front but if you go enough times you can find it worth it um we go to sea world quite regularly which is really fun for children any theme parks fun for children but um, I just thought I would throw that one in even though it's an obvious one but it's a great activity if you are local and you do have the past then it makes it worthwhile I hope that you found this video helpful if you're ever finding yourself in the Gold Coast and you have young children then um, there's like lots of activities that don't cost an arm and a leg and um, yeah I hope you all have a great one if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button because I am doing a little series on the Gold Coast of like things you can do here and there if that's something that sparks your interest then make sure you subscribe to keep updated on this series and I hope you have a great one bye guys